the Allen and Zara wrap up for the week. Uh, we had a really good weekend last weekend and uh, our apprentice Damien Lade uh, rode Mr Griswold to a terrific win and uh, struggling to get a ride here this Saturday so he's heading home to Perth and he's happy to give you a, a bit of a round up of what he's got, uh, what rides he's got over there on Saturday. Yeah, I'm heading back to WA this weekend to catch up with friends and family. I've got five rides at Belmont tomorrow. A couple of them are out of form but they're all for good trainers so they're all good chances. My best probably being on the carpet for Sharon Miller and incoherent for my dad, Michael Lane. Thanks, Damien, for the roundup in Perth. Uh, I've got three runners tomorrow at Caulfield and uh, got a couple of nice little chances. But I've got Chris Simons here to talk about Utah Saints and Stara Gazelle. Look, Utah Saints trialled last week, trialled brilliantly. He's drawn a fantastic gate and should get the run of the race. Star Gazelle in great form and uh, also drawn a terrific gate to get the run of the race. And uh, I would imagine she's going to do well. It's a hard race, but she's got no weight on her back. And uh, ho hopefully she'll be fighting out the finish. Booyah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, for that round up at Caulfield. We've got Andrew Mallion heading to... Wangaratta on Sunday. We've got two live chances there, and uh, here's Andrew to talk about the chances. We've got uh, a little sip in Wangaratta and uh, drawn a little bit awkwardly, but um, been very happy with all their trials, and, and, her, and her work this morning was spot on, so um, I couldn't be happy with her going into Sunday. Hopefully, uh, the track sort of doesn't get too wet, and she should be a real live chance. The other horse, I think. Um, I think he'll probably appreciate the sting in the ground, drawn a little bit awkwardly as well. Um, probably going to need a little bit of luck, but um, I think a step back in, uh, in in grade will definitely suit him. And if we get a bit of the sting out of the track, he should be a good chance as long as we can overcome the barrier. All right, thanks, Andrew, for that. And for round up our, our weekend at Caulfield, you know, Red Angelo's in a in a strong sort of race, and you know he, he'll be having a nice look around. And if he's hitting the line hard, we'll, we'll be really pleased with the effort. And the other two are both drawn well and. Uh, you know, probably Utah Saints probably needs a, a, the track to be a touch firmer to be a genuine chance. But he's going super and Star Gazelle, well, you heard Chris, you know, he's probably, she's probably our best for the weekend. You know, to wrap up last Saturday, uh, Mr Griswold, terrific effort. Um, you know, the, Damon's ride was fantastic and it's, I just hope he can start to pick up a few more rides. He's sort of a little bit uh, off, off the scene at the moment, but, uh, you know, hopefully he can get his head in there and start getting a few more rides for outside clients. Um, yeah, and also, Cool Diva, she's uh, retired. She's going to start and uh, she's done a terrific job for the owners and, and for the stable. And Prussian Storm, he's headed off to the paddock and uh, well-deserved rest. He's been in work a long time. So I'll uh, see you next week.